Okay, Servicio en, en las Américas um, was started in 2007. It was enabled by a very generous donation by Steve Trulask. We um, have the students speak in, entirely in Spanish um, and we begin with service. Um, um, we've worked at Hope's Way um, and a number of local um, organizations here in town to sort of introduce students um, to this community. And then we take um, that whole program abroad um, in a Spanish-speaking location. I participated in the Peru trip of the summer of 2011. And yeah, I applied as during like everybody else did when the applications were up in January. And I uh, had heard about it before from a previous leader. So I thought I'd just give it a shot. And I was really interested in service. I was invested in various organizations at home and gave it a shot, never been out of the country. And I was fortunate enough to go. We really use a service learning method not so much because of this desire to fix a world, to travel abroad to solve a situation, but rather as a method of looking internally and finding where do we find our personal values. It's really struggling with that question before you even get to college. And in that, you learn a lot of personal development skills, but also critical thinking. And then, you know, you see that translate directly into the classroom when they get back to DePaul or into the community, which is incredibly wonderful. At all points of like my DePaul career, I can kind of relate it back to Servicio. Uh, it encouraged me to engage in different service organizations throughout like Greencastle. It made, I made my best friends here. I was able to meet a lot of staff. I got used to the classroom setting. It encouraged me to spend a semester abroad in Spain. A major uh, reason I applied to the program was because uh, I wanted to sort of get out of my comfort zone uh, have an experience that I haven't had before. Um, I thought that would be, you know, a great way to sort of get acclimated to the college environment before I got here as well. It's been really great. It's kind of hard for me to only speak Spanish um, all the time, but I'm learning and I think I've definitely improved. Um, we play a lot of games, we have competitions between our different teams, and um, so we've been busy, but we've had also some free time and it's just been really good so far. Um, I don't know if there's would ever be another way that I could have this kind of experience. Complete cultural immersion um, with people that I just met but I feel like I've known all my life. Learning so much, doing service projects, it's really, really a great experience and it means everything to me. I think what I've enjoyed the most is actually interacting with the people from Greencastle. Uh, a big part of what we've done it, through our service is get to know like the local residents, which is a part of the program that I didn't expect to, but it's been one of my favorite aspects of the program. That's my primary focus. It's, it's really seeing who the students are, figuring out what type of personality styles they have, and then what can they gain from this program, and then doing my job in the very best way to help them experience this experience to their potential. I would absolutely recommend this program to anyone and everyone who applies to DePaul. Definitely, I, for sure. Apply regardless of uh, whether you're nervous about it or not, apply. Because I, I can tell you I was really nervous coming into it and it's been the be one of the best decisions I've ever made. Ready? Cabeza, hombros, pies, 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 pies.